All right, everybody, we're gonna do the unboxing of the uh, the Brother 9340 93, CDW uh, laser, LED laser, actually, printer. So I chose the Brother over the HP 477FNW, I think, $380, but it didn't have uh, a few of the features that this had. Um, this one has better reviews, really, I think, overall. Um, I, I had a picture of a, a wedding photograph that uh, I was comparing to, and it just seemed like the HP was a richer print. Not necessarily truer color, but a richer print. So we're going to go through this, and then we're going to unbox it, and then I'll uh, do a video on setting it up. Uh, I'm going to start it here on the... Uh, I'm gonna set it here on the table for tonight and tomorrow I will put it in the uh, in the cabinet. I'll take the old printer out of the cabinet and and, and, and do a video on setting that up as well. But uh, this is, um, my wife wants to make a copy on it tonight so that's why I'm uh, starting this today. This is print, copy, scan, and fax. Of course, fax you don't really need. You can do e-faxes now so the fax really is, is a non-issue for me. I haven't faxed at home in 10 years, I've always e-faxed uh, works. If you have never e-faxed, it's called zero fax or fax zero or... So this has a, uh, a touch screen that uh, has a lot of features to it. Uh, only the parts that are needed light up. So this whole keypad here doesn't light up unless you need it. High quality uh, color scanning with a variety of scan features. Automatic two-sided printing to help conserve paper. Fast black and white speeds up to 23 prints per minute, 250 sheet, sheet tray. I like that over the HP. The HP only had a 150 sheet tray. The DPI resolution on this is higher than it was on the HP. Um, this also has air print, uh, Google Cloud printing, brother print, eye print scan. Uh, both of them have flash memory uh, built in. Stop the video so you can see what all it does. That's great. Um, and this side is where we bought it from, uh, and also a code if you want this code or whatever, this code for uh, searching for your best deal on Amazon. I happen to get this at Office Depot. They have a, a sale on it uh, January 7th of $50 off. This is the 9340, which is the newest version of their printer. Um, and they're top of the line of this series. Um, there's a 90... 300 series, so 9320, 9330. This is a little bit higher end than both of those, offering a few more features, um, and that's why I chose this one. So, I watched a video uh, yesterday of a guy unboxing this, and it took two of them. It's supposed to weigh 50 something pounds, 51 pounds or something. Um, Personally, I don't feel that's all that heavy. This is the power cord. And I think that's the only thing in here is the power cord. When we jump up here, this is an Ethernet cable. Or no, this is a phone line actually. There's a phone line cable. If you need a, if you want to hook up the fax, you'll need a phone line cable. Again, I won't use it. Here's the brother DVD for all the software that comes with it. Again, I'll download that from the internet. Uh, useful settings on color and mono, and then start here, book. Um, might need to read that eventually. And then the rest is just packing material other than the printer itself. Nicely, these come out in just one piece. They sit straight up in the box. Uh, that's really nice rather than having to fight getting the printer out and getting these out of the box as well. So one of the things you don't want is these tucked inside because when you do decide to pull it out, and what I'm doing here, I'm searching to see if there's any locking mechanisms on the box. Uh, there's no locking mechanisms on the box. But this way I can just reach in and pull the printer out. I'm gonna, I'm gonna set it on the ground, I'll back you up. I don't think it's going to be real hard. I don't even know if i got to get it all the way to the ground to do it. And maybe the people that were doing it before were just too small.
All right. So the rumor has it it's about 52 pounds. It didn't feel 52 to me. Again, I'm a bigger guy. Um, it just didn't feel like it was that difficult. You watch some of the other unboxings. They make it seem like, you know, they're lifting a tank out of a box. I don't get it. wasn't real difficult, wasn't uh, overburdensome. Now we'll take all this tape off. I also watched a couple of videos where people <laughs> were letting it, they were scanning with it. And when they were scanning, they were saying it really sucked because they had it up against the wall here and the prints sometimes would come out and fall off the edge. And he didn't really know what to do about it. He never addressed it in his 11 minute video. He's just, that's just the way it is, I guess. Really didn't like that. Well, <laughs> fling that out, that solves the falling on the floor problem. <laughs> I don't get it, but kind of funny, I thought. All right, so we're gonna take all this tape off. glasses now. This says remove. Mm. Just a lot of shipping material. That was another thing people couldn't figure out just by reading this, how to do it. Lift it up, click those over, pull them out, take that off, pull the sheet out, put them back in. Again, not rocket science, right? <laughs> okay, pretty simple there. Eyes a little loud. Okay, plug it in and turn it on. Uh, there was a piece of tape right here. I took that tape off. I also said to open this up and take this piece out. Because that's shipping and that's dry lock or dry whatever. Okay, so now I've moved the entire table over that way to the nearest plug so I can work on this. So now after that, it just says turn it on. I'm plugged in, turn it on, and now it says to wait. So we'll wait until this comes up. The brother has come up. Okay, so when all this is done, we need to set the language. So to set the time, you just hit there, which was the uh, all, all, uh, all settings then you got your time up here you just hit that box right there and then you run through your settings right there pretty simple after you're done just hit home and it'll bring up your time there I set it for military time okay so the next thing we'll do is um, or I'm gonna go wireless right here I'm not gonna go anything oh sorry guys let me back you out a little bit so I'm gonna go right here I'm gonna go wireless setup so I'm gonna do that right now I'm gonna back you up Okay, now I'm going to try to set up the Wi-Fi. So I'm going to click Wi-Fi up here. Wizard. Enable WLAN. I, I don't know. I'm going to say yes. Okay, so mine is that right there. Now I need my network key, which I will 
gladly not show you. So hang in there and I'll get right back to you. Okay, so once you input your your um, password, it'll give you connected or it'll say wrong password. First time I entered it gave me wrong password and it gave me this sheet of paper out. This time it said it was connected and it gave me, so now we'll move on to the next step. All right, it just printed my first page. It's exactly what I asked to print. And it's a pretty decent rendition. There's the photo. Could stand to be a little bit darker. Here's the photo. Right here. Sorry, sorry guys. That's the photo. I've got it working. Uh, there's a lot more work to be done on it, but that's the unboxing in the first setup. And we'll have more on it uh, on a future video. To like, share, and subscribe, click the logo to the left.